This episode of Transformation Talk is brought to you by our friends at FNX. FNX is committed to creating innovative supplements of the highest quality that provide focus for a productive morning, energy to thrive all day, performance supplements to reach new goals, unique sleep and recovery formulas to support any sport, and healthy supplements to support an active lifestyle for years to come. Go to fnxfit.com for all your supplement needs. Use code GETRIGHT and save 15% off your order. Hey everyone, Nikki Campbell here, author of Make It Happen and founder of Get Right Personal Training. I would like to thank you for tuning in to this episode of Transformation Talk. As you know, the goal of this show is to help anyone looking to transform their body, mind, and spirit find success on their transformation journey. We will discuss starting the journey, what you should be doing, and overcoming some of the obstacles that will inevitably come up along the way. Today's episode is titled, Old Henry hit the nail on the head. (laughs) There's a famous quote by Henry Ford that goes, if you think you can do a thing or think you can't do a thing, you're right. That's probably one of the most profound statements in all of history and incredibly true. On any transformation journey, belief is an invaluable tool. You gotta believe that you can achieve your goals. I know that can be easier said than done especially if you probably tried before and maybe weren't successful achieving your transformation. One of the questions that I often ask people that say that to me, that it's hard for them to believe they can transform because they've tried so many times before and ended up quitting without achieving their goal is, well, did you believe in yourself on all those other past attempts? Did you work on building your self-belief? And almost always they said, no, they didn't believe in themselves. They've never really believed in themselves. My reaction is always, well, that's the number one change we're gonna make. I want you to believe in yourself. There's nothing special or different about me or anyone else that's achieved any type of transformation. We simply believed that we could do it and then set out on a mission to make it happen. Quitting can never be an option. You know, it's kind of like a a successful long-term marriage of like 50 years or more. Any time that I've ever had an an opportunity to ask or or seen a couple that has been asked that have had that type of success and longevity in a marriage, how they did it, almost always their first reply is quitting was never an option for them. See, they knew that obstacles and challenges were inevitable, but they believed in their desire to stay together and they believed in their commitment. So quitting, it just wasn't an option. When those hard times hit, they just weren't gonna quit. I've talked before about how important um, the level of commitment to anyone's transformation success is. Well, belief in yourself and belief in the value of that commitment is equally, or I dare say, even more so important. So it's time to change the conversation that you're having with yourself. Doubt can creep up on all of us. And when it does, it's imperative that you nip that in the bud. Lord knows, I've been there, but I work really, really hard on changing the conversation that goes on in my mind. When doubt starts to come up, I always try to to beat it down with words of affirmation, encouragement, and confidence. See, before my transformation, I would allow that conversation to go something like, man, I just don't know if I'm ever gonna lose this weight. I'll never get back in shape. I let that manifest into, yeah, I just don't think I can. I might as well skip my exercise or workout. I don't really feel like doing it today. And anyway, I mean, it's been a rough day. You know, What I, I'm just gonna stop beating myself up. I'm not even gonna worry about it anymore. Let's go get some ice cream and just chill. <laughs> Next thing I know, I had talked myself out of even trying anymore because I allowed that little moment of doubt to rob me of my belief. It was like I was on a tidal wave of self-pity and self-destruction, simply because I hadn't established a proper dialogue with myself, and I hadn't instilled a solid belief system. Now, when that scrawny little voice of doubt starts to peep inside my head, I squash it with an attitude. (laughs) I'm, I'm like, who are you talking to? There's no way I'm quitting. I got this. You take your little doubt butt somewhere and sit down and watch. 
What I'm saying is, if belief isn't natural for you, work on believing it. Win the battle in your mind, and one of the best ways is visualization. Remember your goal and visualize daily by seeing yourself at your goal. As you visualize, be specific. How do you look in your clothes at your goal weight? See yourself feeling better and doing things that you want to be able to do now. Notice how much better your overall health is and how successful that you are in other areas of your life. This process of winning the battle of the mind develops great courage and can overcome any challenge. Another way that we talk about, that we talk to and think about ourselves from negative to positive is by incorporating daily affirmations into our routine. Affirmations help us retrain our thinking and speaking into positive patterns so we can truly transform our lives. We can get more of what we want and less of what we don't want simply by making a list of positive statements about yourself, such as, I am worthy. I will achieve my goals. I believe in myself and my commitment, and so forth. There are plenty of lists out there that you can get started on. Just search positive affirmations to build belief in myself. But I recommend that you simply use the ones you find as a guide to make your own personal affirmations. Make them mean something to you and your journey, spoken with your own personal dialect and lingo. Affirmations give us the opportunity to choose words that help create success or eliminate doubt in our lives. They serve us by eliminating low self-esteem, destructive behaviors, and even pain. Say them daily. By repeating them often, you'll eventually start to believe them and start making positive changes in your life. Another thing is surround yourself with a strong support group. That's very helpful too. I know sometimes it's hard to believe that people that know you can believe in you if you've tried before or not and not been successful, but most people that care about you want to support and encourage you. If you don't feel like you have that around you, look for positive podcasts, YouTube videos, online communities, or even books. Finding someone that inspires you is a very strong tool. You start to think, if they did it, maybe I can do it too. Or they struggle with the same things I do and they overcame. I'm going to do the things they did and make it happen this time. Build your belief through that inspiration and grow from it. Theodore Roosevelt said, believe you can and you're halfway there. So work on eliminating self-doubt and build your belief in yourself. I believe in you. You are worthy and I know you can do it. If you want transformation bad enough, you'll make it happen. Otherwise, you'll make excuses and let that negativity allow you to give up on your goals. Don't do that. You owe it to yourself to have the life you want and I want you to have it. Please feel free to reach out and let me know how I can serve you. I want to see you achieve your goals. Thank you very much for listening and God bless.